on Shaquille for real. LSU sophomore Shaquille O'Neal is already being heralded as one of the top centers in the universe. No man is coming with the fanfare this guy has. Just clean. And I think that he's worthy of it. When I first came into the league, I did a Reebok commercial. I brought him, Bill Russell, Bill Walton, and Kareem. Talk to me about the interaction you had with Shaquille that day and, and what you learned about him. I'm Benny Carmel's on defense back when I was playing. I'm looking at five guys around me, plus the two referees were punching me while I was at the same time. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. You see, they won't be able to do that shit with you hey. right now. He's, he's very, very young. And I don't think that he has maybe a sense of, uh, you know, of what he's all about yet and what we were all about. History uh, is bad news for a lot of young people. But what was he doing when he was in high school? I mean, who was he looking up to? Maybe Dr. J? Julius Irvin is the reason why I started playing basketball. And they don't really know what certain people have done in the sport. People are talking about comparing him to you already. I mean, when you hear something like that, what's your reaction? I think that the parallels between Shaquille and myself are probably a little closer than they are with some of the other, the other centers. I was going after one guy, no champion. He wanted to break all his records. The man has a lot of agility, a lot of mobility, and he is sort of a hostile type of player. He has to remain in little foul trouble as possible. It doesn't mean he's not aggressive, but he has to be very, very smart. The more physical I became, I just seen all those other centers do this. Shaquille O'Neal has earned $100 million in and out of the sport. <laughs> His teams have never won a single playoff game. What do you say? I say that he is a genius. <laughs> like, okay, we got two championships. I know I can be two. Shaquille, what? Do you see the game, bro? We see everything. Get in here. Is now in session. Shaquille and I is like comparing me with Clark Gable. Mm -hmm. In this case, I'm Clark Gable and he's, uh, he's me. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big, strong, powerful guy who runs up on top of people. He could be taught to play a whole lot better. I want to see what his shooting game is like though by myself. I've seen him dunk a lot of balls down, but can he maneuver or will he get shots free when he's going up by two men? He seems to have problems in the last quarter. I would make him have to run up and down the court all day. I would like, though, to have had a chance to play against someone like him, Clyde, because I always like the big guys. Any pro worth his eye teeth is going to be gunning for the shot. He uh, plays an entirely different type of basketball game. Mm -hmm. that he uses his physicality, mm -hmm. and he's a big, strong young man, and uh, that works well in today's game. Mm -hmm. If he was facing me, not so, not so good. I mean, I'm a guy bench pressing around 600 pounds when I was at my 600 best. 600 pounds? Yeah, right. 600 pounds. 600, I think you're exaggerating. You're out of your mind. There's a thing called innate strength. That's strength from within. Wilt would take Shaquille O'Neal and move him around like he was a rag doll. He would do a tricep extension that, like, the big guys, the strongest guys, would do, let's say, 120 pounds, let's say, tricep extension, putting down, right? He would come and he would do 150, 170 pounds, Will Chamberlain. That's how strong he was. So I always felt like when people said, well, this guy is shooting more baskets than anyone else, I said, well, because you, you stay away from him. He was so powerful yeah. with his elbows and everything. When he grounded, when he saw that, where to put the ball, you wouldn't want to be in his way. It's dangerous. They always said he was by far the strongest person oh, who's they, ever they, played they, the oh, NBA. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. he, I remember that he lifted me up with one arm like nothing. It's not possible for any human being to do the kinds of things that he was able to do. I think to this day people don't believe it. But he, he wasn't at the top of the circle, but he was about three steps behind it on a free throw and he ran to the free throw line, took off and dunked the ball. And I actually saw this. How would you defend against yourself? I wouldn't. I would just go home. 
I would fake an injury or something. Well, you're not a very nice guy. I tell you what, I was a very nice guy. You were? Yeah, unfortunately, I was too nice. I have some close friends of mine who told me uh, a number of times, Will, go up there and break Bill Russell's hand, you know? Stop being so nice to these guys. You mm -hmm. can destroy them. Mm -hmm. And because I was maybe a nice guy, I shot the fade away and didn't do some of the things that, like Shaquille O'Neal's now and now doing. Nice! <laughs> Dudley is now drawing with Shaq and threw the ball in his direction. Oh, so he was upset. He thought Shaq pushed him after the play and knocked him down. I'm saying as they call fouls though today, you know, Shaq gets away with what I would consider murder. So they, uh, they, uh, they let, let him go. Yeah, I mean, I would think that when you dip your shoulder and you run over top of a guy and the foul's called on the guy laying on the floor, you know, you're getting away with something. I can't tell you how many times I watched him go up for a dunk and someone would put their hand within the cylinder trying to block a shot, and Wilt would let up, because he knew he could break the man's arm. He was too nice a man. If you look at his records, and the records that he set, I always thought it was like watching him in slow motion. I thought he could have even done more. You were by far the biggest and strongest man in the league, and that you did not have Killing. A killer instinct. I don't mean that competitively, but I mean you could have hurt guys. You could have you could have slammed guys to the floor. You could have looked to pick out to pick that, fights. You didn't that, do that. That that was one of the saving things about playing against the guy who did physically imposing is that I cannot recall even hearing about anything where he tried to hurt anybody. And well, so uh, you know you that's could, good and bad. Yeah, you, you, can, you, can, you know you can that's rack good. him up and you know yeah. that he's not going to really hurt did, you. Did anybody. you need more killer? <laughs> well, you, you know it, you know it could be said. It, it, it could be said, and but also remember, when you're my size, I want to also show them I was skillful. I wasn't out there to really try to show that I could just knock people over and whatever. And you didn't want to just play into the image of brute strength. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I want to play basketball as the way Jay Naismith really, you know, really invented the game to be played. Actually, it was better than he envisioned. Probably right. I saw him one time in L.A., and this is no lie. We had a restaurant. I'm here. Wilt's right there. No hi. No, you suck. No, anything. Didn't acknowledge you at all. No, it's a pecking order thing. It's a respect thing. I took it to myself and said, okay, he don't know who I am yet. The greats don't recognize me yet. I must not be great. And if you don't think I'm great, I got work to do. Superstar who dominated basketball in the 1960s and 70s was found dead today at his home in Los Angeles. Chamberlain was 63. Three games, four games into the season, Shaq's coming off the floor, and I stop him before he gets to the bench. And I said, what's the greatest thing Will Chamberlain ever did? Will averaged 50 in one season. He did, he averaged 50 in one season. No, that's not it. What'd he do? He played every single minute of every game during the course of the season. I said, could you do that? He said, oh, if he could do that, I could do that. So I started playing him 48 minutes a night. <laughs> Seven or eight games into this, John Sally says, you know, um, Shaq came to me and he said, maybe you could rest him a little bit tonight. <laughs> so I started to monitor his minutes a little bit, but that was the year Shaq was an MVP and he had 30 points game and he, he really led us. He was great. His MVP year in 2000. Look at this, he led the league in scoring with 30. He led the league in rebounding with 14. He also chipped in with four assists a game, which was his career high. He also led the league by making 57% of his shots unguardable. That's just like too good. And that was the only MVP one. But you want to talk about agile at 330? I think Shaq would have terrorized Wilt. I do. When it comes to basketball conversations, I'm very arrogant. Only want to hear my name. So when they say who's the most dominant player ever, I want them to say my name. I don't want them to be like, uh, maybe Wilt, maybe Shad. So, does that really bother you? Yeah, it does. You better than Wilt? Yeah, I'm better than Wilt. I'll bust Wilt ass. We got next. 84, 85, 81, going to take Malone trying to get it to O'Neal, who gets it back. All right, Wilt Chamberlain, surprise. I accept your challenge. But you can't tell me how long, though, can you? A man can only wait so long. Customato felt as if I had the properties to do well in the boxing game. He was throwing punches with force. I felt that he, he has that stinging jab. 
and he's uh, such an athlete. Incredible. You could have been the best decathlete mm. in the world. No, I think I had the ingredients. I think I had the properties. Where well, it's like most dominant, you gotta earn that. Will owns over 90 records, and he hasn't played in the last 40 years.